welcome back. It is Sunday and I have my first oral exams for the SQE2 tomorrow. So I've done all of my written exams. I had them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of this, the beginning of this week. And yeah, I have my oral exams on Monday and Tuesday. So tomorrow and the day after of next week. And that is all of my exams for law school then. Like that is me done. I'm done being a student after that, which is absolutely crazy. I've been a student for obviously like the majority of my life. The written exams I think went okay. Some of them obviously went a lot better than others. Um, but for context, we had four exams a day. So legal writing, legal research, case matter and analysis, and legal drafting. And we were basically like in an exam room under exam conditions for about four hours a day. And honestly, I was so frazzled after each exam day. And then at the end of all three days, I was exhausted. I took a day off and then I ended up on Thursday not really doing any work either. They all went okay, I think. I hope they all would have passed, um, but you have to pass overall. So even if I failed like one or two of them or some of them, I just need to pass the SQE2 overall. So that's what we're hoping for. But yeah, I have my exams tomorrow. So we're going to do some revision today. And I thought I'd bring you guys along for the last sort of study day of my student career, my law student career. I just had my breakfast. I had a nice breakfast because I thought I'd treat myself because it's Sunday and I'm going to get to my desk now. <laughs> feeling a bit all over the place at the moment. I'm not really sure what to start with, but I have got myself a water drop drink. It's really been the little things that have been getting me through. I am really flagging at this point in the exams. So cups of tea, Percy pigs, and like water drop drinks, all the little things have been giving me tiny little bursts of motivation. And I'm actually working with water drop again on today's video. You guys know I love them. This is my water drop bottle as well, which I just think is the coolest. I used it for my exam water bottle because I had to have a clear one and obviously I didn't want to buy a plastic one so I've got this gorgeous glass water drop one. If you haven't heard of water drop, the thing they do is micro drinks and it's just these little cubes that are sugar free, flavoured, you just drop them into plain water and they make it taste amazing and it's just flavoured with natural fruit and plant extracts and it's really really easy to take them on the go with you so if you want to drink more water it's a great way to do it. They also have micro light drinks which are like electrolyte drinks which I always take after I go for a run now as well and obviously you're saving so much more plastic than if you were just buying single use plastic drinks every single time and for every pack sold they also collect a plastic bottle from the environment. So I'm gonna be sipping on one of these while I do my revision. And I have a discount code for you guys, which I will put on screen and leave down below for you. And you can use my link for money off. So I'm gonna to get to studying now and I will update you on what I get up to in a little bit. <laughs> through all of the mock or like practice papers that our uni have given us basically and then they've given us like debrief notes so I think instead of attempting to do all of them because there are loads of them I'm going to just read through the debrief notes make sure that I have all of the correct tests and everything and sort of make sure that I understand it all I think I'm going to review some flashcards but just literally like whiz through them maybe even just like scroll through them to make sure I know the content because I feel like it's already in there from the written exams and if it's not in there I don't have a huge amount of time to go over it I've still got some notes that I will look at before I go into the exam as well to just like refresh my memory. I need to print off some documents. I've made some like templates of things to learn for like structure for advocacy, a structure for an interview, a structure for the attendance note that we have to write after the interview. And then I've also made documents of all the tests 
that could come up in advocacy so if there's like um an interim application for a summary judgment or like default judgment opposing those and yeah there are like lots of tests for things that could come up so i have got all like the cpr tests in one document and i need to go through and make sure that's all comprehensive and i've got all the tests for things that might come up because i think there's a few that i'm missing probably and i'm going to print those out so that i've got those to go through before the exam because the start time is until 12 30 tomorrow so i have a bit of time in the morning to read through some stuff the two exams so i have one interviewing exam and one advocacy exam the first day the interviewing is on property law and the advocacy is on disputes and then the second day the interviewing is on wills and the advocacy is on criminal each exam i think is an hour but we've been told we might be kept there for up to four and a half hours so i'm yet to see like how that will play out um but i will find out tomorrow so i think it's going to be quite an intense long day again like the written exams um i think i might be quite frazzled again after <laughs> gym because i'm feeling a little bit lethargic sophie and i've been working in the kitchen together as well just like talking through stuff at the same time which is definitely helpful but her exams aren't until um wednesday and thursday minor monday and tuesday so yes that's what i've been up to i've been looking at the past papers i've been making sure my documents are all okay i've added a lot of tests to my disputes one finalized the criminal one yeah so we are on track and i'm really struggling to find the motivation i think honestly like the stamina required for this like process of exams like doing the written exams and then the orals is a lot it's hard to keep the momentum going sometimes i'm feeling very chill about it and then sometimes i read stuff and i'm like yeah if that came up i think i would be fucked. but yeah i'm sure i'll be okay i'm gonna go to the gym now because i feel like i need to get the brain juices flowing again <laughs> dinner and it's now 8 p.m been doing work i've been reading through some stuff i've been reading through the exemplars for interviewing for property and i am losing the will i cannot wait for this to be over the more stuff i read the more stressed i get because i'm like would i be able to do this if this came up tomorrow i don't know hopefully hopefully something similar to stuff that i've read comes up i don't even know if i'd remember it if it did the closer it gets it's more just the fear of the unknown you have no idea what might come up but i think i know most things well enough i don't know i don't want to jinx it but i did revise pretty hard for the written exams and i think i know enough stuff to get me by in most things and i think for the interviewing half of the marks are literally just for like the skill of interviewing and not for the legal knowledge and i think the same is for advocacy i might be wrong 
but the only thing with advocacy is I think it's much harder to do good oral submissions if you don't know the law. But anyway, left for this evening, I need to go through all of the interviewing exemplars. I think I've done two or four. I'm literally just reading them, being what I know, writing down stuff if I don't know it. I'm gonna like scroll through my property three flashcards which is just my third deck of property flashcards. Read through some contract notes, maybe read about implied terms because I feel like I'm a bit hazy on that and that could come up. And then I'm gonna look at the um, structure documents I've done for interviewing and attendance notes and learn that because I need to learn those structures for tomorrow. And also um, look through the tests for disputes. Uh, for advocacy and then in the morning before my exams tomorrow I'm gonna learn the disputes tests and learn the interviewing attendance note structure and the advocacy structure and then just read through some notes so that is the plan of action for this evening I've got a few hours left of work ahead of me but it's the final push mm -hmm. 